recommend to visit the gallery Art Media at the Wynwood Building, featuring the exhibit by the iconic filmmaker from the 60s, Peter Emanuel Goldman. Here you can see his photographic body of work. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, obviously in the 60s, I was, I was much more known as a filmmaker, both you know, as an underground filmmaker and also I worked in Paris, so I was kind of the only link between uh, the American underground and the, and the uh, French New Wave. I, I also did still photos at the time, and uh, I didn't think I was as good a still photographer as a cinematographer, and it was, so it was only done part of the time. I put them in storage, all the uh, still photos, forgot completely about them, and, and I had sent away to my distributor in Paris for the uh, hard drive with the DVDs of, of uh, three of my films and in the box of 4,000 negatives, which I had not seen in 50 years. And, and when uh, the curator, uh, Jose Antonio Navaretti and the uh, gallery owner, Gary Alroy, saw them, saw them, they said, wow, this is, this, is, this, is, this is amazing things. And this is what became this, this exhibition. I, I did two, two, two things with still photography in that time. One was like here, where I would, like I would do in films, where I would stage with uh, friends or actors, if you like, uh, uh, scenes. I mean, these are all, these are staged. And the other was, of course, just more spontaneous, capturing the life in the village, mostly, and, uh, and, and, and friends and things. Uh, and, the cap and capturing New York. So I had, I had both elements, you know, sort of like a film element, and I also had the element of, uh, of you know, of a spontaneous photographer. I was friendly at that time with several very known photographers whom I admired, Robert Frank, Ouija, uh, Nat Finkelstein, whom I roomed with. And uh, so it was very, this is all in a way very strange for me because really the, the, these things had been forgotten and, and were in storage for 50 years and were sent from Paris in this box. Otherwise this, this exhibit would not have happened. Still photography does capture a lot of what I did with the film plus an additional element. Because still photography in a way is simpler because you don't need you, you don't need to edit it you don't need a projector you don't you know you you just make it you, you view it and 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 you can and a, and uh, you don't tell a story in a film you're telling a story or part of it at least in the scene even though you're using faces but here a person who sees a photo he has to uh, he, he has to almost make up his own his his own story and if the faces are right the lighting is right the exact positioning is right, then you have something that, that holds the eye. And uh, fortunately, out of the 4,000 negatives, obviously not all of them are good, there's, a, there's enough of them which, which have that quality. And I think this is wonderful because this is a document from those days, from the 60s. Now, for anyone that wouldn't know, the first uh, movie that Peter Gold, Emmanuel Goldman did was Echoes of Silence. And this movie is in the MoMA archives and many other important film uh, documentaries. Mm -hmm.